What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. Hold up, water. Water. All right, man, look. Uh, first and foremost, most importantly, Ken Gozen, I'm going to call you Kenny, man. Can I call you Kenny? I'm going to call you Kenny. Um, I was very touched uh, by your comment uh, in my comments uh, section for my last video um, on uh, Lomachenko and Mikey Garcia. It moved me very much to comment about your prince, uh, our champion, uh, just taking on a huge challenge, and I'm pretty sure he will win. Uh, because of that, he's a champion for all of us, and I'm going to be handing him something that I was going to uh, give to uh, the Golden Gloves champion uh, of Chicago, but I decided, look, there's no one taking on a bigger challenge than your prince, and uh, I'm pretty sure he, the, uh, the Golden Glove fighters, have no problem with this, and he's uh, definitely a champion, someone to be admired. So we're going to, I'm going to be shipping this to him. Uh, it does say, you know, the showbiz, the adult uh, trophy. And it has the Golden Gloves of 2019. But like I said, it was going to them. But I'm giving this to your prince. Uh, so he's definitely a, a champion inspiration to us all. And if you can send me your address uh, to, my, um, to my Facebook is in my about section on my channel. If you can send that to me, I'll be sending you all this and in the styrofoam and everything's gonna be all good. So he's a champion. I look up to your son. So thank you very much for the comment. Now, let's talk about uh, Anthony Joshua and a potential fight with Usyk. Okay, so here's the thing. Let, let, let me break it down for you. I know everyone's like, hold up, hold the phone. Okay, let's get past Big Baby Miller. Let's, let's get past Tackham first. Okay, but here's the deal. Um, according to uh, Usyk's promoter, um, Usyk should be the WBO mandatory after Tackham. If he beats Tackham, he becomes the WBO mandatory. Okay, according to the promoter, according to Usyk's promoter. With that said, um, uh, Anthony Joshua, if he beats Big Baby Miller, he's still going to be holding on to the strap, okay? On top of that, we don't see uh, Deontay Wilder taking on Anthony Joshua anytime soon. He said himself that uh, 2020 looks like uh, the, the year that he's going to be focused on Anthony Joshua. Tyson Fury, uh, his next big challenge looks like it's going to be more so a rematch with Deontay Wilder. Uh, then taking on Anthony Joshua who else going to be there outside of Anthony Joshua taking on his mandatory Which would be Usyk if Usyk beats Tackham Yo, here's another thing that uh, Usyk's promoter said he works very closely with Eddie Hearn and Matchroom He said that he works very closely with them that they they both have a working relationship So it should be easy to make Hey, man Do there is so much to say about this. There is so much to say about this. Number one, the fact that, that Usyk can do what he's done at cruiserweight, okay, being probably the greatest cruiserweight of all time, okay, as far as accomplishments, as far as uh, his resume. Actually, I'm not the only one who thinks so. Uh, Johnny Boy Boxing, I saw one of your videos. That's why I just popped in my head. I heard you say that... Uh, that Usyk was the greatest cruiserweight of all. I, hey, buddy, I definitely agree with you. Um, with that said, um, Usyk accomplishing what he did as, as a cruiserweight, moving up at, at, at heavyweight, and his second fight uh, uh, being highly probable that it's Anthony Joshua. Kudos to uh, Usyk. But here's the thing. That is a shame. I, look, man, I still think, I, I'm sorry, I think that's a shame. A guy comes from it kind of reminds me of Mikey Garcia you know Errol Spence couldn't buy a fight and then Mikey Garcia jump up two weight classes and get the fight on pay-per-view and now everybody want to fight him I, I, that is something that these little guys are doing stuff that these bigger guys or wouldn't dare to do okay I mean they're ducking and dodging each other but these little guys are jumping up taking on these challenges that everyone else is afraid of or at least trying to avoid 
right? So much respect to Usyk, and um, Usyk said that he'll fight Anthony Joshua tomorrow. That was that's what he said about it, okay? So Usyk is definitely willing to fight Eddie Hearn and Usyk promoter. They have a working relationship, um, and Usyk, if he beats Tackham, it is highly likely that he becomes the WBO uh, mandatory. So that fight can definitely happen this year. They're saying by the end of this year that fight can happen. So, I, 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 man, I think that's a sensational fight depending on how Usyk look at heavyweight. If he looks good because he fought at heavyweight and amateur, so I'm thinking that he's not going to look bad. If Usyk dominates Tackham the way he dominated everyone else at cruiserweight, um, if he looks better against Tackham than Anthony Joshua did, then I'm looking forward to an Usyk and Anthony Joshua fight. And I would have to see how he looked in order for me to predict how that fight would go. But as of right now, that's one heck of a fight. I said before that I think Usyk now being a heavyweight, I think he's the most skillful heavyweight in the division. Not saying that he'll beat every heavyweight, but I think he has the most skills. Okay? Um, it's This is... A shame, almost embarrassing, but at the same time, uh, it looks extremely fe feasible, extremely probable, and I'm happy that they're mixing it up. I would love to see Anthony Joshua versus Usyk. So let me know what you all think in the comments below, and showbiz the dope. Hey, Kenny, um, I'm going to call your son showbiz the brave. We out. Huh.